First alert with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clawson. We have already begun to notice those changes with our weather. Yesterday we saw the clouds, today more clouds and the arrival of wind. So that wind advisory went into effect at noon today and right now across the valley floor. We're looking at those gusts under 20 miles per hour, a bit stronger up in the high desert Yucca Valley right now, 29 miles per hour and white water, a gust of 41. So what we're experiencing right now will only continue to stick with us and strengthen as we head through the night and into tomorrow as a very strong and cold cold front works its way into Southern California. So again, that wind advisory went into effect at noon today and it is going to be with us through the weekend. So what about the wet stuff? The stuff that like John and Karen had just mentioned, we haven't seen since April. Palm Springs has not uh, had any measurable rainfall since April 11th. That makes today 209 days without rain. Let's change that up a bit, shall we? As we head into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing more scattered showers work their way into the Southland. This is looking ahead at tomorrow morning about 8 a.m. Our best chance, our first chance to really see some of that work its way into the desert is going to be between the mid morning and the early afternoon. So getting closer to that noon hour, we're looking to see that first little wave push through. Then as we continue to the afternoon, still scattered showers are going to be working their way across farther inland to the east. Now the bulk of this rain is going to be down to the south in San Diego County. However, we are still looking to see a little bit of that even right here in the Coachella Valley. Same goes for Sunday, although Sunday not looking to be quite as widespread. So there's still going to be rain out there, especially for our mountains. There's going to be snow down to about 5,000 feet, but we're not looking to see it quite as scattered, quite as widespread as what tomorrow is looking to bring. Now for the valley floor, we're also not talking about a lot of rain. We're talking about some, which is fantastic. However, it's not looking to be what it's, of course, going to be towards the west and up in the mountains. And that's where a flash flood watch has been issued. Granted, this does include uh, Highway 62 and into the Desert Hot Springs, but it's primarily focused around the El Dorado as well as the Apple Fire burn scars. That's what we are most worried about when we are talking about rains, potentially heavy rain following wildfires because the risk of a debris flow does increase. Then you go about 5,000 feet and above and we have a winter storm warning that goes into effect tomorrow through Sunday. Again, above 5,000 feet, first snowfall of the season, can't wait for it. And on your Comfort Air 7 day forecast, all that activity I was just talking about is with us for the weekend. But then as we head into Monday, clearing skies, drying out, and temperatures gradually warming up into the 70s. Really, next week is looking phenomenal. But this weekend, keeping, in, keeping us on our toes. <laughs> okay, this we is like, going to be a, a change of pace. Yeah, a big one, yeah. Trying to think of my wardrobe, you know, because I still have tank tops and shorts everywhere. You know, there's so much out on social media right now about it being sweater weather, and we have not been able to join in to that trend, but no. we, we finally get to this weekend. All there right, go. good news. Thank, Thank you, Haley. Have you 